Hello and welcome to Learning and Technology. My name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. I'm really excited about this video. In a previous video that I created, I talked about how we could go into Microsoft Teams and look at the analysis tab to see what was happening in our environment. But in that video, I was sort of lamenting and saying, I wish I could look at individual student activity. I wish I could look to see what assignments students had handed in. Where are they interacting in my student classroom environment? Where are they going? What channels are they using? Well, I couldn't see that before because I didn't install an application called Insights. And that application gives me all of that. So I'm able to go in, drill down, and see exactly what the students are doing within my classroom team. It allows me to identify students at risk. It allows me to see what students are actually doing on the team site. It's really good. Now, it's only available for teams for schools, so it's an educational product, but it is super useful. So I, let's just go look at it. I think you're going to be as excited as I am about this. If these types of tips are helpful for you, subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, and I really can't see how anybody would not like this video, hit the like button to let me know that this is the type of content you want to see. Let's go have a look at insight for schools in Teams. In the previous video that I created, I was a little bit sad because when I went into Teams to manage the Teams and I went to Analytics, I could see users and I could see some activity in here, but it didn't let me really drill down into individual student activity. However, I've discovered a fantastic add-in, a new app that you can put into your team in order to really enhance your ability to see what's happening with your students. So I'm gonna go into the plus sign here and the app is called Insights. If you don't see it on your screen, you can just search up here for Insights. And when you click on Insights, you can add it to your classroom team. Now, this is uh, for education. So I'll go in here. I don't want to post it to the channel because the students can't see it. It's just the instructors. And when I go in here, I'll now have an Insight tab at the top. And this is much more useful for me as an instructor. I can see that I have four missed assignments because students didn't hand them in. I have new communication activity in here. So I can go in and I can see underneath the communication who's been participating, how much communication. I just went in and logged in as a few of these uh, accounts so that I could do some postings in there. So that's my communication activity. I can see who's missing assignments. So I can see, oh, I signed three, only one of them was viewed. So I can see which ones were turned in, returned. So this is giving me a lot more use. I can go back here and I can actually see the student activity. So now I can see with the students, I can see their activity, how long that they've been working here. So you can see all I did was click on and, and make a couple of posts for each of these accounts. But I can drill down into uh, uh, Diana here, who's Wonder Woman. So I can see that she visited the introductions channel. She visited the general channel and she posted two messages. Victor Stone went in and he posted a message. And so you can see uh, two out of four students are not active. So this can help me find students at risk. I can also do custom ranges. I can look at specific activities, whether they participate in meetings, communications, assignments, files, and I can drill down to just a specific student if I want to see what's happening with uh, Diana. I can go and drill down to her specifics. So this is a very useful, much more robust analytics that is related specifically to education. And I wanted to share that with you right away because I think this is a fantastic tool and really enhances my ability to identify students at risk and see how much uh, different areas of my classroom are being used. Okay, as you can see, imagine the possibilities of making sure that your students are there, making sure they're engaged, looking at what type of content resonates with them, and identifying students at risk to make sure that everybody's participating and that we can do a proper job of helping everybody succeed with remote teaching. Again, if you like the video, subscribe and hit the like button, and there's some other videos on the channel you might be interested in. Thank you so much for watching.